1A sectional 34, this is a good one, Adams Central at Busco, and then east side against Southwood. Let's talk about Adams Central Busco first because Adams Central continues to do what they do. They ran the football well. Logan Macklin, a couple late touchdowns and a win against uh, South Adams last week. And then Busco is just Busco taking care of a, a pretty solid Northfield team, 31-15 yeah. last week. So both playing good football as we enter this, this week two postseason matchup. How do you see this one playing out in Turtletown on Friday? It's interesting. I was at Chair Busco last Friday, very impressed with what the Eagles were able to do offensively, get some scores, and then uh, limit that north field option offense because you never know how you're going to be able to handle that when you don't see it very often. So Chair Busco did a great job. You look at Adam Central, everybody knows what they're going to do. They're going to line up. They're going to run Drew Schultz. They're going to run Logan Macklin, mm -hmm. and you have to stop them, and most teams can't. Woodland wasn't able to stop it, you know, week nine. So that's the challenge for Chair Busco is can they force – uh, Adam Central into those second longs, third longs, and make them beat them vertically. Because if they're getting second and fives and third and twos, I mean, Adam Central is just going to move the chains and uh, and have long sustained drives for points. So that's that's the challenge for Cherubusco on Friday. How do you see East Side Southwood playing out? I know that uh, people in, in Northeast Indiana or in our viewing area don't get a chance to see Southwood every week. We don't get a chance to get down there. But you know, I read it. Uh, Legit quarterback. Uh, yeah, uh, Carson Blair is you know considered one of the. Statewide, one of the top candidates for Mr. Football, if Southwood can make a run in the postseason. Uh, but Eastside has been pretty good all season long as well. Caleb Ballantyne, Aaron Dean, I mean, they've got a bunch of guys uh, that can do some things. Uh, Esposito at the running back position. They can do some things offensively. There are going to be some points scored, I guess, is what I'm going to be saying yeah, about I mean, this ball game. Wabash County, the cradle of quarterbacks, right? Absolutely. Maybe, I guess. Sort of. Sort of. It this will year, be, it will be, one place. It will be Friday <laughs> night. It will yes. be Friday night. Definitely. Yeah, that's the challenge for Eastside. I think Eastside was the sneaky pick in that sectional. Talking to Coach Paul Sade last week before the Northfield game, and he was like, Eastside was the team I did not want to draw, mainly because they had seen him earlier in the season, and it's very tough to beat a team twice. And Eastside is just that sneaky good team that, you know, sometimes they're on, but off, but when they're on, they're, they're very tough. So, uh, Eastside, I'm not going to be surprised if, if, if they go down there and win. Now, that's a little bit of me not knowing a lot about Southwood at all. I mean, I think, admit. I think it's a true 50-50 game in my opinion. Yeah, I think Eastside, you look at it, probably played the tougher schedule, mm -hmm. you think. Um, uh, you know, the, the TRC really isn't power that powerful. So yeah, they got Angola Southwood? late, too, to get a good look at you know, what right? a 4A team looks like. Yeah, definitely. So I think it helps out Eastside going into this game. Southwood, you wonder, have they been challenged? against a team the caliber of Eastside, and I think it's a challenge to find that. So I'm going to take Eastside because I'm a homer like that, and I'm going to take a team that I'm familiar with over a team that I don't know much about. I think with Southwood having played Northfield in Week 9 for that TRC championship, yep. that was almost more like a playoff game than what they played last week, so that experience yeah. could certainly help. Yeah, but the thing is I saw a 7-2 and two Northfield team that was okay, but really wasn't in, North, in Cherubusco's class at all. Mm. Cherubusco played East Side, so you know you're looking at it. If right. we're playing common opponents, that kind of Score game, match, yeah, yeah, you, you really like East Side in this matchup based on what I saw with Northfield on Friday. All right, well, that should do it for this week's edition of Inside the Zone. We'll be back next week where we're talking sectional championships.